Good morning to our distinguished and honorable tribal leaders, tribal representatives, our beloved elders, brothers and sisters, and relatives. First, I want to give thanks to our Creator for blessing us, for the prayers answered that we can come together from across Indian America in our shared, in our collective work on behalf of our Mother Earth, the sacred spirit of the giver of all life, to all that was gifted to us at the time of creation with which to survive physically and spiritually. It was foretold that there would be times from one generation to another that we would be challenged and threatened with our way of life. But it was also foretold that each generation would respond with a sense of resilience to persevere against the greatest challenges to our Mother Earth, to the gift of a way of life, to, to the gift of language, of governance, of our indigenous laws and customs, of the gift of family that receives the sacred trust that life might continue to our communities and to the resources gifted to us to sustain us. In all of our prayers and songs and ceremony, we are also reminded in those gifts of the original instructions of how to live, of how to be, how to behave in our relationships with all that exist in the world and in the environment that we are a part of. And over the course of hundreds of years, one of the greatest and most powerful nations in this world has purposefully conceived to disconnect us from those gifts of the Creator. But using the core values that reside in the deepest parts of our being, taught to us by members of our community, by our parents and grandparents, that these deeply held core values has guided us to respond in ways that we can celebrate the resilience and perseverance of every generation who in their time and sacrifice define our collective heritage that today in this convening of the convention of the oldest political organization gifted to us by those who have gone before with their vision with their wisdom, with their passion to protect all that was given to us by our Creator. And on behalf of the governors of the board, we want to express our deeply felt gratitude and appreciation to the leadership of the National Congress of American Indians, to all of you to embrace the convergence 
with the stories of the Honoring Nations program that represent many from across all of Indian country who represent your respective communities. These stories really are at the heart of what gives all of you in your respective capacity to respond to the challenge, to the threats politically, legally, using the stories of our survival as the heart of a response to the challenges we face that are deeply embedded in the history of relationships of the most powerful country and all of us who have survived through the sacrifice of many who've gone before us. Today, our challenge is to define what future generations will inherit from us. What future generations will inherit from us. To ask ourselves, how will children yet to be born speak of us in this time that history will define as our time? Will they speak of us in the same manner as we speak and honor those who have gone before for their sacrifice to define our inheritance? Because today we stand here still connected to the lands given to us by our Creator for the purpose of belonging so that all those who travel from the spiritual world into this physical world might set foot upon Mother Earth, a place to belong, that we can still be here to celebrate as we begin this convention, to offer a prayer of thanksgiving, that we can still be guided by the deepest sense of our spirituality, gifted to us by the Creator in our way of life, that we can still hold to the traditional governance systems, our indigenous laws of customs to maintain the balance of our relationships, that we can still celebrate the vibrancy of family that we all belong to, and that we can celebrate the spirit of community all of us being members of those communities and still to be blessed with the richness of the resources that has sustained us physically and spiritually. So we give thanks for this opportunity of the convergence of the oldest political organization with the gift of honoring nations to provide us the means as these honorees and many before them share the stories of profound resilience and perseverance that is the ultimate gift of all of us to the generations to come. It is a true testament that as our elders have taught us that when we hold true to the sacred governance, covenants of the gifts of our Creator, when we make decisions guided by those essential core values gifted to us, that our core values will never lead us astray. And when we do stray from the prescribed path, given to us, that core values is what brings us back onto this righteous path of existence given to us by the Creator. And so we are extremely proud as we are gifted with the opportunity to experience traveling the country, seeing firsthand, hearing firsthand, feeling firsthand, the love, the respect, the compassion, the passion, the humility, 
with which people in all of our respective communities are responding to rise to the occasion, to hold true to the sacred covenant, covenants of the original instructions, to protect the gifts of our creator with our core values. So if our honorees will please stand. Who are Gunesha Nia Nia Sutras? Zina Hoke Shimani Karstiwano at the heart set me Ue Makaya where Amokuste Shoats it Okain the Tan Kuha or Tani Tune you had it there good tap. Go as cook chano, go a tan scohojanino, do not that chance. Here are the representatives of many throughout Indian country who, guided by the core values, are responding to profound challenges in this time, in many times, in many places where we have never been in our journey. And they represent the many who continue the legacy of our forefathers defining in their work for the sake of the children of those yet to be born their contributions to the question of what will future generations inherit from us. Their contributions make clear that adherence to these sacred covenants of the original instructions and the gifts of the Creator, each time we contribute, makes clear the path for those to follow, to follow in ways that the Creator intended. When we fail to respond in this way is when that pathway becomes unclear and others to follow will be blind to follow in that same pathway. So with the deepest gratitude and appreciation to all that you do in all that you represent, the inspiration gained by your conviction, your hard work, and most of all, for the deepest love of your people, of your land, to the gifts of the Creator and to your undying commitment of the many that you represent from communities across this nation. May the Creator bless you, give you the wisdom, the vision, the strength, the courage to continue to do what you do for the sake of the children and those yet to be born. Our love our blessings. Will you join me to recognize the incredible resilience and perseverance of our people?